Hey everybody, I'm going to show you really quick how to use, uh, how to make smoke effect in After Effects using the uh, particle systems number two. Uh, you can use that, I think it's CS4 through CS6. I'm going to be working on CS6. Uh, this is what it ended up looking like for me. I made this crappy little graphic really quick just to show you guys. And uh, you can see a smoke coming out of this smoke stack really quick. Uh, I can show you how to do that. And uh, right, let's hop on in. Oops. Got that. Okay. So first off, what I started off was this uh, was my graphic with the train going across the mountains and whatnot. Just made it really quick. I know it's kind of crappy, but don't judge me. First off, you're going to want a new solid. Good. Just make it a black solid. And then go into effects and type in particle and you should come out whoop, you should come out with particle systems number two go ahead and throw that on there and you should have this weird star looking thing you scroll forward you can see that it kind of like separates and basically your typical particle thing anyway I'm going to go ahead and uh, obviously we want this particle to be black go ahead and make the birth and death color black underneath the particle settings um, I suppose we can already uh, switch the position well for the first frame I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here on top of the smokestack hit the stopwatch for the last setting I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here on this smokestack here okay so now it's not really looking like smoke yet, but we're going to go ahead and change that. First we look at the, oop, let's go ahead and look at the particles. Instead of line, we want to be shaded sphere. We're getting a little bit closer to smoke. Go ahead and change the composite to screen. Okay, not too bad. We're going to make, I'm going to make the maximum opacity about 60% for right now. Um, I'm going to go up to the gravity. I'm going to make that negative three. Uh, that kind of works. I'm going to go ahead and turn explosive into vortex. It's a bit much. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and turn the velocity to four. So it goes up like that. Let's make a lot more of these little particles and let's make the longevity down a whole bunch because the velocity is going to be so high there we are Oop. in fact I might just do fractal explosive Oop, that's not what I want direction The velocity up a little bit, or maybe down a little bit. Just... As it moves, it should affect that. You can go into shaded spear, bring these down to 0.1, bring this down maybe to 0.2. Oops, okay. Bring the x radius to point one, y radius to point one. All right, and this is where we can affect the stream of it. For the extra, it will kind of create this sort of cone-like effect. Sort of make the randomness of the actual particles of smoke. That doesn't really look too realistic now, does it? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and change this velocity perhaps down a little bit. There we go. The velocity was just a little bit too high. Look over here. 
starting to look better, but not quite yet. Bring gravity to negative two and see how that looks. Oh yeah, maybe negative one. Even then, it's not it's not too crazy looking. And that's sort of it. Looks a lot like smoke. <laughs> uh, if that's too much for you, you can always bring the opacity down right here to like forty percent. And then maybe even like 20%. Oops. Not 4,200%. 20%. I guess it just depends on how much smoke you really want. And uh, if you want to go a little bit higher than that, you can always do the longativity, which sort of controls how quickly the smoke dies and really just keep messing around with the settings and you should have no trouble figuring this out uh, let me make more activity down so yeah that's how you make smoke in After Effects tell me what you think um, you know, keep messing around with these. You can really do whatever you want, especially with these uh, particles. You can turn them into like star shapes, or you can turn them into lines like originally was at. But for this, I'm just using shaded sphere because I think it has a better smoke like effect. But, uh, yep, I hope this helps you out with your future projects. Uh, tell me how it goes, and uh, thank you for watching.